A disciple asks about heaven. What are some things that we assume incorrectly about heaven? You assume you have a choice that I haven't previously considered. It's easy for human beings to put limitations everywhere when they see them somewhere. But just like you can drive a different speed on the Autobahn in Europe than you can in downtown Chicago, there are so many things that will just be different. You love all the differences, but even if you really tried to figure them all out, you still would come up short. This doesn't mean don't pursue me, but it means where you see a roadblock in your understanding, just go around it and continue. There'll be some walls in your path that you can climb over and other walls that you will need me to lift you over, but many will be walls of something eternal that I will just help you pass through in the meantime until you are at a place to understand. There are some who've been in heaven for thousands of years who are still waiting to understand basic things, and their time will come. You also need to know that yours will be an eternal lifetime of learning and growing. Your understanding doesn't bring you here, but your understanding keeps you here. You're not me, but I want to share everything with you. Since you were created, your growth takes time that I do not need. As anyone learns basics and adds knowledge and experience to it, so will your existence be. So don't have too much pride in what you think you know now. It may be only the basics of a much bigger reality that I'll show you. The safeguards that I've set up for life also apply to the spirit realm in heaven. Speak with grace and love, be humble, don't take offense or fight, represent me and represent heaven to the world and watch those who hunger for truth seek you out with interest. Is your heart of love for me enhanced by some sort of control or commands that I have for you? Or is it my love, my giving, my son, and my ministry to you that feeds and enlarges your heart? The deepest part of man is drawn by that which heaven offers. That is why I've enabled you to act like heaven to others. When I sent you out with my message, I sent you out with the ability to bring heaven to those you speak to, both in word and deed. Heaven's lifestyle draws those whose hearts desire it. It also softens the hearts of those who have become hard and cold due to sin and the failures of earth culture. I need you to bring heaven's culture to a world that only sees and knows the culture of sin.